This video shows university workers how to respond to a small chemical spill. After ensuring safety, isolating the hazard, and performing proper notification, you can proceed with chemical spill response and cleanup if you feel comfortable. If you don't feel comfortable, you can always contact Environmental Health and Safety to respond. First, let's discuss wearing personal protective equipment. PPE should be your last line of defense against hazards. Thus, before using PPE, make sure you have the proper equipment and procedures available first. Refer to the chemical hygiene plan and or material safety data sheets and other references for recommended spill cleanup methods and materials and the need for PPE. When you're ready, don personal protective equipment as appropriate to the hazards. Consider the need for respiratory protection, the use of which requires specialized training and medical surveillance. Never enter a contaminated atmosphere without protection or use a respirator without training. After selecting the right PPE for the job, you can proceed to control and or contain the spill. Start with obtaining a chemical spill kit. Examples of things you will need include absorbent material, chemicals to neutralize corrosives, such as sodium bicarbonate for acids or citric acid for bases, a broom and dustpan, plastic bags, a secondary container, cleaning solution, and hazardous waste labels. Confine the spill to prevent spreading using spill socks or other materials that can create a barrier. When cleaning up, make sure to work from the outside in, that is, work around the edge absorbing and neutralizing toward the center of the spill. Neutralize with a weak base if it's an acid, or a weak acid if it's a base. Let it stand for a few minutes to allow for the chemical reaction to take place. Then, absorb the liquid using universal spill pads. If available, you can also use vermiculite or clay to absorb the material. Finally, clean up the materials using a simple broom or brush with polypropylene bristles and place everything into a plastic bag. When all is cleaned up, make sure to properly decontaminate, dispose, and document your work. Decontaminate the site using appropriate cleaning solutions or disinfectants. This includes cleaning the broom, the brush, and or dustpan you used. Chemical spills involving radioisotopes should be decontaminated with surface cleaners, such as Radcon, and later then checked for radioactivity using a GM meter. Make sure to place everything into appropriate disposal. This includes the use of a double plastic bag. Don't forget to include your disposable PPE, such as gloves, at the end of the cleanup. Use strong tape, such as duct tape, to seal the bag and place in an appropriate secondary container. Finally, attach a hazardous waste label and request pickup by Environmental Health and Safety. As a reminder, remember to wear appropriate PPE, control, contain, and clean up the spill, decontaminate, dispose, and document appropriately. For more information or if you have questions, please contact Environmental Health and Safety. For more information, visit www.ehs.ucr.edu.